so we got Mustang week just right around the corner. And this whole week, I'm doing nothing but prepping for it. So Mustang week is basically just next week. And I've just been doing nothing but prepping. So right now, we are heading over, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But the GT500 is not looking too promising at the moment right now. And I'm hoping it's gonna be ready by the time Mustang week is here with hopefully next week. I'm hoping Randy can pull it through, make things happen. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping. But right now, we are pulling up in front of Leading Edge. So we are gonna have a new shirt drop here shortly. I'm excited for this one. So we got new shirts coming and I'm about to run in here. We're gonna show you guys the new design and everything on the new shirts. I hope you guys like them. I really like it because I was kind of going for uh, something vintage, retro vibe, something kind of like similar to my old logo, kind of incorporate all of that. I think we did it. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check out the new shirt design. Let's see what you guys think. What's dude, up, dude? How's it going? Good, good. You say they're printing today? Yeah, pretty much how we all say. All right, so right here is the uh, screen printing machines. Hey, this is where all the magic happens. How you doing? I'm JD. Looks official, I even got my name on the box. It's official. Well, there's the new design, I hope you guys like it. Grant didn't really like it. He I said he- we talk about it. <laughs> a lot of fans. I think it turned out great. I had a buddy of mine message me, and he's always making jokes, and he's like, hey, I hope you put a rainbow on there. I said, I actually did. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. I'm gonna step into the Joyride garage. All right, we got the camera, you guys ready to film this? Alex, Bex, so this is going to be our Mustang week prep video. We're doing it with non-Mustang Week attendees. In all fairness, you got, you've got you attended Mustang Week since 2012. 2012, that was my first year. And your first year, 13. Yeah. So they've done it every year except for this year, yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe. I'm, I'm still, hey, I'm still, they may show up late, we don't know yet. Laura, she's got no choice, she just has to come with me. She just wants to go to the beach. She, I want to go to the beach, beach. Too. Too. Just sit on the beach, you guys do your thing. Come you get one up on her. You could leave her, yeah. and then we'll go, Yeah. you and I, yeah. on the beach. Take my Tesla down. Yep, and uh, I'll bring the Bud Light. It's like carrying him into the water and stuff because he doesn't want to get... <laughs> oh, that would be so sweet. <laughs> Tell him how you drink yours. There's a straw. Let's show you guys these shirts. I know you guys saw them, saw us over at Leading Edge getting them all printed on the screen printer. They haven't seen them, they've just seen the picture. You guys helped come up with the design. Had a couple other friends that I messaged and they kind of threw in their little bit of input. I can't go, I still have posters, so. Oh, look at you, you got some posters. Throwbacks so, right here. Oh, those are some throwbacks. That was supposed to be the year of Hurricane Dorian and when yeah. we got switched out, you brought those and I, I brought, brought them. them. And then they never got used, so they've just been sitting in my office ever since, so. There you go. If anybody wants to pick one up, I'm gonna give these ones out for free. Yeah. I'll sign a couple of them too. So yeah. I'll sign yellow joyriders. We'll sell them for five bucks and I'll yeah. bring you back the money, maybe. Great. And <laughs> whatever you sell, we'll put towards the possible chance of us coming for one weekend. Okay, so if I sell them all before Wednesday. <laughs> and you're selling them for how much? Five bucks? Sure, five bucks a piece. Yeah. That's not even gonna pay for you I'll to get take, there. I'll I know take, you. Donations. That's not even enough. We'll I'll take gas I gonna, donations. I was gonna say what I might do is uh, I'll bring some of my portfolio there. And, <laughs> oh my God, yes. And but mine He's are gonna be more expensive. I don't play around, so mine's usually two to five hundred dollars. That's if you don't sign it. If I sign it, you're looking more at like five to six thousand. But I take payments. I'm very busy, so don't contact me. <laughs> 
<laughs> DMs, Dan, DMs. Oh, I got oh, wow. some really wow. good pictures these, of These them. are glamour shots yeah. right yeah, here. Yeah, I got some really good shots. That face right there, money. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that was one of my earlier shoots. The look at the lighthouse. The big lighthouse guy. Dude said his DMs are open. Kick a field goal. Thanks. Alex, you are too much. So we will be down there with um, some Joyride merch as well. So if you guys want to pick some up, I have some of the old OG Joyride shirts. We've got some of the uh, Let's Cruise shirts. But we're very limited on sizes on these. Uh, we sold out of a lot. And then, uh, yeah. So we've got some of the tan, some of the green, and then some of the OG stuff. But we're very limited on sizes. So with the new stuff, we went with a different style shirt. It's, uh, I guess, a little more fitted, and it's a softer material. So I just wanted to try something different. But your shirt's not that way either. Oh, wow. Show them. show them. Just do it. Dive in. So we went with uh, the rainbow for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Mean, oh yeah, yeah. You made do it some more of the rendering. The car and not yourself. I'm yeah. proud of you for that one. We wanted to go with something retro, something vintage, and we just kind of mix it in with our original Joyride logo. We just kind of went with the top silhouette. Any type of like old, like vintage or retro shirts, I just love them. It's more of like a fitted size. Hey, Alex, do you think I can get you to model a shirt? Oh, absolutely. What, what do you want? Extra small or extra uh, medium? Medium. No, serious. <laughs> large, large, large. large. What size that you want? Oh, uh, I like a little like. Baggy room. I got four X's. Okay, that's fine. Alex, oh, look at that. Dude, that actually looks good on you, dude. Thank you, man. Oh my it's gosh. Really hey, babe, go get him a Bud Light. <laughs> gosh. Huh? You gonna flip my wipers? I'm modifying them. Modifying them. <laughs> it does look good, though, man. Does, does my chest look nice? Oh, yeah, perfect. The logo's perfectly centered right on your chest, right where it needs what about to be. My lower back? Oh, yeah, nice. I might later on, I might give it a belly cut. I'll but just that, twist it up thing, in a knot. Right, and the good thing about this shirt is if I do decide to do that, it's still going to show the, the logo. So the yes. goods are there, the goods are there. It's up to you. Ooh, it does look good though, doesn't it? It, does, it really does. I'm actually really close. And that it's 100% cotton, so it's not going to shrink. Okay. Look at you, buddy. It's a little big on you. But we didn't do any kid sizes, which we kind of messed up. I should have should have did some kid sizes, but next run, we're going to make some kid sizes. Max is signing some of these for you guys. If you guys are at Mustang Week and you happen to run into us, say hi. If you guys want a shirt, just ask me. Yep, Logan wants to open this box. It's the same thing. It's just different sizes, buddy. We got multiple boxes with different sizes. Box, we have extra large. Extra large, we got 4XL. We only uh, did a very few limited uh, 4XL shirts and then we've got 3XL, 2XL, all the way down to small. This style shirt, they did not make them in extra mediums. We do not have extra medium. So if you guys are looking for that, because that's the size I wear, but they don't have them. I mean, I can't just be sitting here showing you guys these shirts and not wearing one. How, how does it look? Does it look all right? Hey, you're looking good, man. You're looking like an ice cold yeah. Bud Light. So what we're doing tonight, we're actually going to go to the drive-in theater. We're going to go see a movie and it's actually going to be that new, what is it, that new? Uh, Grand Trail. Gran Turismo, yes. What is she doing? I'm just blowing on my ass. So I hope to see some of you guys down there at Mustang Week. And if you happen to run into us, feel free. Come up, say hi, and pick up a shirt. We are going to continue this vlog on to the uh, drive-in theater. I don't know how much we're going to be able to film over there because it is a movie theater. But we'll just kind of, we'll give you guys a little bit of vlog content from it. But that's what we're going to go ahead out and do. If you guys want to come and pick some of these up, they're already going to be pre-signed by Bex. And my car is in the background, so I do get royalties from this. And, uh, <laughs> what? too because my car is on it that's why i left the other side for you they may not want my signature they may, they, they may not even like me they just probably like you in the yeah, car like only reason why people follow the channel is for bex and laura that's it i'm just here to film it <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> little update on what's going on with the gt500 it's not looking good for mustang week i stopped by there the other day went by randy's shop the car is completely unwrapped all the gray wrap is off except for front bumper. The car's apart, all the trim, the mirrors, the tail lights, everything's out of the car. So the car's pretty much apart. As of now, it's kind of not wrapped. So the wrap, as he started putting it on, he realized that the wrap had an issue with it. It had some sort of hazing. So then he had to contact the company and order another roll. And it's supposed to be in tomorrow morning. That only leaves us a couple days, a few days. It's not looking good. Regardless of what happens, I will be there at Mustang Week regardless. I just don't know if I'm going to have the GT500. And if we don't take the GT500, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do it? It's Mustang Week. 
I don't know if uh, that would be appropriate. I'm just saying, fingers crossed. I'm hoping that it's gonna be wrapped. It would be kind of cool. We go drive down to Mustang Week, go pick up the car, unveil the new color down the Myrtle Beach for Mustang Week, and you guys could actually see the color in person. I don't know. I'm just hoping that the car is gonna be ready in time. Drive-in theater. We're here at the drive-in theater. They're basically going over all the rules of not recording. Max, where did you pop this? Uh, it's a secret. She just pulls popcorn out of the Durgon truck. This. You got like, I was about to go over there and buy stuff. Dude, this is insane. In the truck. Dude. It, it took us three hours. Who does this? This is the adult box. The adult box? Where's the <laughs> boys are up here in the back of the truck and they got like a little mattress up here. These little Lena over here out. I made it myself. She popped it in the truck. We have a popcorn machine in the truck. That's insane. <laughs> Everybody gets, you know, exhaust and we got a popcorn. So the movie's gonna start now, so we're gonna turn the camera off because I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, you'll go to prison for five years. That's what they said. You'll so go to prison for five years for being Jandy Jumpstart TV. All right, so we're gonna turn it off. Bye. <laughs> we just finished watching Gran Turismo, which I thought was pretty good. It's a lot better than a lot of these other car movies that's been right. coming out that are like yeah. kind of Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Right. Movies going to the moon. Two featured screens. They got one over here and then one over here. This was our must. Mustang Week prep video. We will see you guys at Mustang Week, so hope to see a bunch of you guys down there. And Vex says it best. Um, Buy some merch. Like, comment, and subscribe.